Mr. Professor, you came here uh, as a volunteer, you came here for help? Yes, uh, for various reasons. One is uh, scientifically, scientific uh, reason, to see and uh, deduce uh, how the damage was occurred and the interaction between the characteristics of the earthquake, the soil conditions and the conditions of the buildings that resulted in this um, uh, image we have got up to now. I think uh, that is a big problem. Most of this problem has not been uh, presented uh, openly. There are a lot of uh, damage, much more than what we think at first glance. Uh, Mr. Professor, how we see it, there is much more damage in old buildings there in Thuman and also of buildings in Durs by the sea and buildings with extension. Uh, what are you seeing here at your first sight when you came in Durs? The first sight is that uh, as far as the damage is concerned, because we have another point of view of the rescue uh, yes. operations. As far as the damage, I think that is uh, the result, the combination of the following, I could say a few of them, parameters. One is interventions, uh, additions, extensions, or uh, uh, pulling down some walls and so on. They have uh, seen that uh, they have added some floors or extensions, you know. Second is the quality of the construction. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the quality of the construction. That the quality of the construction is uh, quite poor. Is, uh, uh, and even I could say that we have also a bad maintenance. That means the steel bars are rusted, uh, you know, are, um, and the, the type of uh, workmanship is uh, low, the quality. And then we have the combination of the soil that is uh, soft, uh, settlements, liquefaction problems and uh, other uh, things that uh, may be, you know, quite uh, important also in combination with the characteristics of the shock. Uh, when I came here, I saw you inspecting some buildings. What do you think about them? Some of them maybe should be destroyed? Some of them uh, uh, should be demolished and other should be really in uh, under a good engineering and construction practice to be reinforced and to be modified accordingly to follow modern codes to save lives because earthquakes occurred are occurring and they will occur in the future and then everybody either this earthquake and earthquake will happen within our lifespan or in the future after we have passed away but it is a heavy duty to leave to our children and the next generation a safe city safe buildings what is your uh, main advice for for people after earthquake for buildings it is a long term it is not just now they have to learn how to follow the rules, they have not to make things that are not proper. There are fortunately enough rules, there are codes, uh, there are good materials, very good materials. Then the old buildings must be inspected, very important, because here we have one earthquake after the other. Then I say that uh, buildings and uh, materials have a memory. That means when the first earthquake left the building, even with small features that we may not give any notice, but the next earthquake will come, will start the damage from the level and the condition that the previous earthquake left it, and so on. And if we don't follow a good practice for uh, uh, repair, 
the first level is to repair. But it is not only that, it is also to strengthen. Then this is additional, additional, and additional, and finally also we have to add the parameter of the deterioration due to the rusting, due to the sea, and uh, the environment is uh, corrosive. Uh, and this is also multiplied due to the bad workmanship and bad uh, materials, and so on. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. You are welcome. Thank you. I thank you.